ان الحمد لله نحمده ونستعينه ونستغفره ونعوذ بالله من شرور انفسنا ومن سيئات اعمالنا من يهد الله فلا مضل له ومن يضلل فلا هادي له واشهد ان لا اله الا الله وحده لا شريك له واشهد ان محمدا عبده ورسوله my respected brothers and my sisters i want to talk to you about covid-19 and the situation we have currently all around the world especially in the west as you all know this has been going on for now so many months i want to share with you few facts what we have learned so far an understanding of the ground reality and then i will give you few tips that how really we can handle all this situation the first thing we all have to understand that this problem will not be over in few months this is going to go on for quite some time so this is one thing which we have to be very clear about there is a new norm of our lifestyle now and we have to understand that we have to live with that new norm of our lifestyle up until we can find the vaccine or the treatment for this problem i see a lot of negativity people are frustrated people are going through a lot of hardship some of us have lost their jobs some of us are having some family problems some psychological issues some financial issues emotional issues and on top of that social media print media tv everything has created so much negativity around us that i would like to talk about that issue as well i see in some brothers and sisters lot of fear and in some no fear at all fear is good up to some extent so it can convince us to take all the precautions preventive measures fear to some extent is good for good planning you know i see one extreme in the united states and in the west lot of fear and the other extreme we see in pakistan no fear so there should be some middle path because if we have too much fear fear affects our immunity fear affects our all the systems in our body our heart our mind our emotions our productivity our efficiency everything goes down because of too much fear you know having preventive measures taking precautions this is perfectly fine but having too much fear where i am to the extent of you know paranoid and obsessive about things this can affect us negatively very rightly said by hazrat ali razi allah taala anho that you know hardship or calamity becomes really a major issue when we get panic and paranoid about it so situation does not creates hardship it's our mindset how we perceive things the per- perspective how we look at things this is what creates more difficulty and hardship for us so little bit of fear to the extent that we can plan that is perfectly okay and we have to plan because life cannot go on the way it is right now we have to adopt new changes according to the new norms my brothers and my sisters we have to plan smart and we have to act smart plan smart so that we can take all the precautionary preventive measures and then we can come back 
to as close to our norm as possible and as soon as possible sooner we will be able to plan smartly and act smartly we will be back to as close to normal as possible in given circumstances of course we will not go back to 100% normal one thing which I also want to share with you in this current situation my brothers and my sisters our immunity is our taqwa our defense line is our taqwa relationship with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala because once we have that relationship really established no matter how big of a hardship we face as we all have this faith nothing can happen without the permission and knowledge of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala so when I have that relationship with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala this brings hopes in me and you know in hardship as it is said very rightly by the psychologist German psychologist you know who was in the uh, camp in Germany Viktor Frankl that in during hardship it's not your physical strength which can keep your hope high it's not your physical power and strength which can keep you moving it's your mental health it's your hope it's your willpower which will keep you moving and which will keep you feel the pain as minimum as possible because you are seeing a bigger picture down the road you know it reminded me in our in our history if you see after the battle of Ahud when Muslims have lost 70 of their Sahaba and some of them you know uh, how brutally they were you know killed when they back came back to Medina city of Medina inside Medina the news came that Abu Sufyan and all the army of Mushrikeen they are about to attack again on Medina and imagine these are the Sahaba they, most of them they were injured Prophet Muhammad himself was badly injured and most of them they have they have injuries they have lost so many you know of their companions in the battle when this news came Quran is the witness about that when this news came of Abu Sufyan coming with bigger force to attack Medina it did not demoralized the Sahaba rather it increased their Iman because their faith their reliance was not on the worldly means their focus was not the worldly means they knew that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala knows about everything and he is in control of everything and it reminded me the story which I have shared with you before one of the philosopher asked Musa alayhi salam and philosopher he has in this mind that he is going to you know make uh, Hazrat Musa you know silent he will have no answer of the question so the philosopher said to Hazrat Musa alayhi salam that you know if the command center of all these arrows hardships is the sky and the controller of that command center is Allah and all these arrows are coming from the sky then where should, where should we go for protection if the command center is the sky and the in charge of the command center who is throwing the arrows of all the hardships is Allah then where will we where we will find the protection and peace Hazrat Musa alayhi salam said to him we will find peace under the shade of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and this is where we will go my brothers and my sisters that our immunity is taqwa relationship with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and more we have this connection with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala more we will be able to fight 
any hardship, any difficulty with the least pain possible. My brothers and my sisters. One of the things which I will also recommend and we have learned with this current situation you know having purpose in life motivates you and that's what exactly that psychologist has also said uh, Viktor Frankl that he had seen people six mil million pu Jews they died you know in this Holocaust in that Holocaust of Germany according to him most of the people they died not because of the ch torture because of seeing what was happening around them because they did not have a bigger picture in front of them there was no bigger goal in their life having bigger goal in life helps us to move in any hardship and our beautiful Dean has already given us a purpose of life the purpose of life if is our beautiful deen has given us a beautiful you know purpose the purpose is that we want to live this life to seek the pleasure of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to have the word of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala high so that we can fulfill the responsibility as a Khalifa of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala on this planet. My brothers and my sisters, this is our goal. This was the mission of Prophet Muhammad sallallahu This should be our mission as well to knock the heart of every brothers and sister around us to deliver the message of Islam and to make sure we try to protect every soul on this planet from the fire of the hellfire my brothers and my sisters I will recommend try to decrease the sources of negativity the social media is the biggest source to bring false news negative news hopelessness try to cut down all the sources which can bring negativity in our life my brothers and my sisters another thing which I will suggest to myself and everybody is take advantage of the time we have advantage of all the opportunities need of somebody is opportunity for me look around the brothers and sisters who live around you in your family in your neighborhood in your city try to help them out few words good words words of hope most of the time are good enough to to boost their morale to support them my brothers give them the shoulder you know lot of love not most of the time they need your financial support a lot of time they just need some emotional support few words of sympathy so we should show empathy with the brothers and sisters around us and we should keep checking on them and we should also try to take advantage of this time that we should plan for ourselves some positive things some solid plan that I want to improve myself I want to get connected with Quran I want to you know learn few new skills I want to read few books I want to have I want to achieve certain goals you know so this is very important to have a solid plan otherwise time will fly by and when we will look back after four months we will feel like that we did not achieve anything so remember the hadith of the Prophet ﷺ that we are least appreciative of two bounties of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala our health and our free time and wallahi if we look back how much Allah had given us Allah had given us health Allah had given lot of opportunities in our past but we missed all those opportunities we pray to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that he gives us another opportunity in this life so they that we can take full advantage of that so let's plan that how I want to live next month or two 
in my life until things get better and what exactly I want to achieve you know during this time I pray to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that we take full advantage of whatever you know goes around us and the time Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has given us and the health Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has given us and we can make a positive change you know in our life for our future and for the future of our family and the future of our ummah wa akhiru da'wana an alhamdulillah rabbil alamin assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh